Well, good morning from Sagebrush Country at Hyman Lake, high in the Sawtooth Mountains of Idaho. A lake you can drive to, though the road's a little bit rough. But it's a special fall time of year to look around. We're going to take a Sagebrush Country look at it, invite you to ride along. Early on the road to Heinemann Lake, you get a fantastic view of the Sawtooth all down the valley. Coming up the road almost to Basin Butte, views keep getting awesome. Got the Sawtooth, now we're picking up the white clouds. A little bit of snow on them, it's early October. So At the Basin Butte Lookout here. Go up and show you the view up here, but it's going to be spectacular. And there's some of the outbuildings there. So I just had to say, here is the view from the outhouse. There's no door on it, so it looks to me like you got some good contemplating landscape there. As long as the wind isn't blowing. It's like a pretty good office to me. Here's the other side. More north. Looking northwest off the lookout. You can see there's been an old burn or a series of older burns. A lot of the landscape has burned except for pockets that don't. This is mostly lodgepole. Subalpine fir and uh, lodgepole needs burns to reproduce, so in the long run, it's a good thing. Almost there. See the road going up over the side hill there, and hopefully, the lake's on the other side. Still in a big, huge burn. Pretty rough road, especially like the last mile into the lake. If one didn't want to fight all that stuff, you could, I guess, hike into the last half mile or mile. Well, we made it in. Here's Hyman Lake. Pretty rough old road, last couple of miles, but despite some of the dead lodge pole, I still think it's a pretty lake.
Not too hard to catch dinner here. Sun's going down. Camping at the lake here tonight. Beautiful, peaceful evening. Fish are rolling. Speaking of fish, we caught and kept just enough for dinner tonight. Sun on the peak, going down. All nestled in for the night. Lily waved to everybody. Sunrise on the lake. See the mirror image of all the mountains. Again, about, I don't know, half a mile in, you got a few of these rougher spots, which in an ATV is not a big deal. But in a full-size truck, you got to wind your way through and, you know, climb the rock shelf a little more carefully. But again, as long as you know what you're doing and take your time, it's not a real big deal. And there is an example of, it is sagebrush country, by the way. morning headed out from Heinemann Lake and look at the the fog laying in the Stanley Basin there that would be Stanley the base of the sawtooth there it wasn't a real cold morning but it did get down to freezing where we were at down there where that cold air drains would have been even colder again looking at that fog in the bottom of the Stanley Basin draining off of those sawtooth mountains Look, there's an island <laughs> sticking above the fog. Uh, sun will eventually burn that off, but cold air drains, so it drains off those high mountain peaks into that valley bottom. A little closer down now, looking at the fog bank in the bottom there. It's been really fun to watch this as we've come down in elevation. Okay, we're down into the fog bank almost. We can hear the highway down there, going down into Stanley. And looking down the basin here, again the sawtooth up there. How's that for cool looking? And a good place to finish up, I think. Thanks for riding along.